It's just a small plastic bucket, but it can make a big difference. In Jogjakarta, in central Java, residents are preparing to release tens of thousands of mosquitoes right next to their homes. Professor Adi Utarini has been involved in the fight against dengue fever for over a decade. She has specialized in fighting mosquitoes with mosquitoes. We release both male and female mosquitoes with about the um, uh, same proportion, so equal uh, proportion, with the thinking that if we release male and female mosquitoes, then once they are in the natural habitat, they could mate with the uh, mosquitoes in the population. Researchers discovered that mosquitoes infected with Wolbachia, a widespread and harmless bacteria, can no longer transmit the dangerous dengue virus. Once introduced into a mosquito population, the bacteria-infected type gradually replaces the native species. The good news is that the bacteria not only blocks the dengue viruses from replicating in their host, but scientists believe the bacteria can be used to combat other mosquito-borne diseases, such as Zika and yellow fever. One of these mosquitoes lays about 100 eggs, so from a box like this, the scientists can harvest up to a thousand eggs and they're ready to hatch from a few days to several months after being laid. Jogjakarta used to be a constant hotspot for dengue outbreaks and it is particularly children like this little boy who are at risk. But after three years a controlled trial found that dengue cases in treated areas decreased by 77 percent. Now the trial will be expanded to include Jogjakarta's surrounding provinces. Winning the support of local residents has been key. Initially, the community was full of questions. Why are mosquito larvae kept next to us? The result is that more mosquitoes now enter our houses. But the good news is that we can kill the ones that get in. The release of Wolbachia mosquitoes in Jogjakarta began after two years of collaboration with communities and approval from the provincial government. There are millions of dengue cases in Indonesia every year. A little white bucket could help change that.